Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your website for voice search. So let's get straight into it. Siri, Cortana, Google Now, Amazon Alexa. These are all digital assistant voice search platforms that are changing the way we search for content. Think like a human. This should be easy enough, right? When optimizing your website for keywords, if you want to be able to appear higher with voice searches, concentrating on phrases that people would naturally use in speech is one of the first steps to take. Most likely you're already targeting one to two keywords such as bikes, bikes for sale, or cool bikes for sale. Here is a pro tip from me. Use longer and more descriptive, more voice friendly keywords such as a red BMX bike for sale, a cheap green BMX bike for sale, hybrid bikes for sale in the UK. In other words, I found that humanizing content and selecting keyword structures based on a natural conversational tone is the best thing to do. Use question phrases. Think about it. Think about how you use voice search. How do you typically phrase your query? For me, I usually start with adverbs like who, how, where, and why. I might say something like, where is the closest restaurant or where is the closest cafe? Studies have shown that there's been a massive spike in question phrases. More precisely, a 61% growth year over year. More specifically, who phrases were up 134% and how phrases were up 81%. When deciding which keywords to target, try putting yourself in the shoes of your average customer. What questions might they ask regarding your product or service? How might they phrase it? Be even more mobile friendly. Mobile friendliness on websites is a huge deal these days. When you think about it, mobile and voice search go together like peanut butter and jelly. A study has shown that over 40% of smartphone users started using voice search towards the end of 2015. With smartphones being one of the primary devices that people use to perform voice searches, it's never been more important to be a little obsessive about making your content as mobile friendly as possible. If you haven't done so already, I'd recommend using Google's mobile friendly test to see exactly how your site fares. Google will even give you specific tips and pointers that you can take to get your site to where it needs to be on a mobile friendly standpoint. You also want to ensure that you understand the principles of creating mobile friendly content. The bottom line is that people read mobile friendly content differently than they do with desktop content. It's important to understand that this is true and figure out why it's true too. Another great idea is to optimize your local listings. Most people use voice search to get information about physical places they want to go to. They will say something specific to find something close to them. For example, find a pizza takeaway in London. In this case, it will be great and worthwhile to optimize your page for the keyword pizza takeaway in London. But more importantly, they might something general like find pizza takeaway near me. Voice search can recognize near me and refer to the user's specific location to get results. And they're not correlating that search with your on-page keywords. For most of this information, the search engine is going to turn to Google My Business listings. We went over how to add your business to Google My Business in the local SEO part of this course. So yeah, that's pretty much it with voice search. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you learned a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.